What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad. Highway Hadi steps up in the building to talk to the lockout man today. And you know, guys, with everything that's going on in the world, we should stop worrying about the Kanye bandwagon. That's the problem. Everything else that's going on in trucking and everything, Highway Heidi is going to go over it all with the lockout men. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Highway, Highway <laughs> Heidi. <laughs> look, look, man, you, 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 be coming up with some, you, you be coming up with some interesting stands, man. Let's, uh, oh, really? Well, thank you. Let, let's talk about this right quick. Every time I get on TikTok, it's about Ye, Kanye West, and everything that's going on with him. In my opinion, Kanye is a distraction. Let me take y'all back. You remember when everybody was talking about the war? And then during the conversation of the war on the news and everywhere, COVID all of a sudden went away. You didn't have to have a shot. You didn't have to have a mask. You know, Kanye is what he's doing. He's not crazy. He's a billionaire. It's called rhetoric. It's the same thing the former president say, right? Loose lips. That's what they do. That's what we're doing now in the 20th century. Everybody say what they want to say. So he's not crazy. And he's not stupid. But I feel like this is a distraction for something bigger. He just the, he's just the outspoken target right now. So we got bigger things we got to worry about. Like how these rivers are drying up. Ain't no water out here. The winter that's coming, that the freight that's not moving. But y'all, stop worrying about this Kanye shit. We got bigger things to worry about than Kanye. Yay. Whatever his name is. We got bigger things to worry about out here, man. I, I, I think I, I, I think I think you're exactly right, man, because a lot of a lot of the takeaways from this, like it's mm -hmm. like everybody is is jumping on the Kanye bandwagon right now, like you know. But Kanye mm -hmm. been Kanye been this way for years, for years. Exactly. It, it ain't like th this ain't nothing new. I mean, it's new. Mm -hmm. to, it's new to everybody else. But come on, we we regular folks out here. Do we really got time to invest in all this Kanye rhetoric? Exactly, we don't. And it's just, it's just so mind-boggling to see all the videos and how everybody jump on that and just so brainwashed or just want to keep it going. You know, because when, when, when that happens, something else sneaks in from the government or from something, from some source. I'm saying that's what I've noticed over the years. Um, I've been noticing things for a while now and how things are being done. I mean, I'm, I'm sure a lot of us have, but especially with what's going on with the world, you know, with the, the rivers and with with just everything that's going on, you know, we're not, I'm a truck driver. Freight is not moving people. Mm -hmm. Loads are not out here. That's a problem. So why, so, so why everybody being invested in this Kanye thing and, and, and worried about all these brands that's, that's breaking off from them and all like that. What, what about us, the truck drivers that, that, that's not getting the, that's not getting the freight or we're sitting or we're, or we're not making the money. I, I see everybody's not talking about that, but yet they want to they want to conversate about Kanye and his uh and his Adidas uh and his Adidas uh breakup. Right, right. And let me tell you why they're not talking about it because the government is not talking about it because the government don't want to make everybody scared that freight is not coming in, which means you guys not gonna have food. Uh, not just you guys. We're all not gonna have food or the necessities that we need. So they try to keep that panic down. You know what I'm saying? So this is such a much, it's way more bigger than Ye and, and all the brands that's dropping him. Because frankly, in my opinion, some of them brands that drop, that he dropped or dropped him, we should have all been dropped some of those brands. And stop taking the treatment that some of these brands and some of these places treat us, how they treat us. We don't need no celebrity to tell us who to drop. Now, you know Pay what? Pay attention for yourself and drop them yourself. Now you know what? Now you know what? Come to find out that uh, that Adidas dropped Kanye. Those 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 shoes is ugly. Like <laughs> those those shoes. Those are some <laughs> ugly ass <laughs> shoes, bro. Like uh, for like two hundred for like two hundred two hundred fifty dollars or more. 
uh, everybody only buying into it is because of the name. They're, they're no, not stylish. Mm -hmm. They're they're not stylish. Nope. You can't wear them on a basketball court. The only reason why the only reason why you broke person, let's be honest, because only broke people buys buys those type of uh those type of shoes. Now don't get me wrong. Right. Now, now don't get me wrong. I I was a fan of the Jordans back in the day. I mean, I I, I wasn't. Now let me let me clear let me clarify. I wasn't broke. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't broke when I was buying the Jordans. But I'm just saying, okay. majority of the people that You're was right. buying the Jordans were broke. And now you're buying these ugly ass Kanye's like, bro, really? And and now y'all mad because Adidas broke away from them? Hell, they should have been broke away right. from them. Them prices. Right. And change. And everybody else. You know, we got so many things. I mean, we got to stop accepting how these brands treat us as people. You know, you don't have to have a celebrity up in front to tell you what, what to do. You know what I'm saying? It just makes me so upset sometimes. And especially looking at all these videos about how they everybody's so concerned about Ye now or not concerned or he's the big topic. He's not the big topic. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, you can you can probably uh, you, you you could probably make a comparison of of the mm -hmm. trucking of the trucking industry versus uh the celebrities, right? So mm -hmm. uh the trucking, let, let's say Prime, let, let's say the mega carriers. I, I want, sorry, Prime. Okay. I, I didn't mean to say you, but you, you're always you're always forward when I when I when I speak this. So let's say the mega mm -hmm. the mega carriers are the celebrities, right? They the celebrities okay. that everybody want to go to. Everybody want to be a part of their entourage. Everybody, everybody don't have a problem with 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 the celebrity trucking companies that show you know that that does all the round and and do all this. But y'all don't want to go to. Let's say y'all don't want to go to the B list celebrities that will treat you right. That will. Uh, treat you like a person and all like that, but yet when you go to them, you you decide to mess up their trucks and 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 quit quit on a dime and and return their and return their equipment any old kind of way. But yet when you at a celebrity when when you at the celebrity trucking company, you don't do that. You don't you you don't do that. You accept you accept. 60 cent a mile you accept 50 Ooh. cent a mile you accept how the dispatchers that don't have no trucking experience you accept them though but when you go to a b-list company when you go to the b-list company and they have a dispatcher that knows about trucking that drove trucks that knows how to operate your hos that pays you 70 cents an hour that pays you what you're worth, you, you'll treat them horrible. You'll drop they trust exactly. off. You drop they trust off in the middle of Tim But too. But yet you'll accept you you'll accept what the celebrity trucking companies do to you though. It's just like how celebrities right. will come on and be like, here, we want you to buy this. We want you to buy this and mm -hmm. buy that. But yet when when you got a friend or a family member that starts a business and all like that and they ask you you know why 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 you don't you know why you don't support me well why you don't why why you don't follow me why why you don't share my work why you don't why why you don't share my work but yet when adidas nike uh uh uh, uh gap gucci when they come out with something you you all up on their websites Ordering. I'm done with my rant. <laughs> okay, and, and then another thing, uh, which since you on that topic, is this hair, this damn hair. Everybody out here buying oh, these damn hair at this damn time. So, I mean, I, I shouldn't say that, but at those those stores. <laughs> and then you go in there, and then they wash the hell out of you. Mm. They got all kind of cameras above your head. Mm. But yet we got entrepreneurs that I hear they got their own website that you can buy that same quality or mm. better. Mm. And get treated respectfully. 
Same thing with the same. Now, don't get me wrong. Same thing with your. Same thing with the females that be going to get their nails done at these at these Chinese spots. There's videos all over TikTok talking about how how they mistreating you and everything. But yet, but, but yet, but yet the 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 black entrepreneur that can do your nails like yep. fire. Oh, you have a problem with their prices, or you have a, or you have a problem with, with with this, that, and the third. But yet you'll go to the Chinese shop that treats you any kind of way, and you you spend you you spend your money with them. That's that's how it is. Right. That's how it is. So don't worry about don't worry about this Kanye stuff. Everybody's jumping on right. a bandwagon because it's some some somebody's hiding something. They. Kanye is being used right now. Like there, there's something, there's something in the woodworks that's that's going to come from all of this. I feel that way too. I, I'm glad you agree with me. I'm, I'm assuming you agree with me. Yes, <laughs> I ma'am. feel that way too. Yes, ma'am. I do. Yes, yeah. ma'am. I do. Highway Heidi, always, uh, always a pleasure talking to you. Love watching your TikToks, man. I mean, you you got that mesmerizing presence about yourself. So definitely. <laughs> well, thank you for having me on again. I really appreciate the conversation. It was really great. Big G's got it locked, boy. Want you to love me all night? Yeah, take me down. Want you to make me real wet? Yeah, swim around. Want you to take it like a G? Yeah, don't make a sound.